So, good morning, everybody. My name is Jörg Zuber, Director for Business De Development in Bosch Electrolysis. Um, and I'm happy to be on this conference to connect with you and talk about the green hydrogen economy. Um, I, I think most of us are here because green hydrogen is important. Uh, recognized by so many countries in the world having revealed their hydrogen strategy in the last few years. Uh, I think it's a key element for decarbonization uh, to reach Paris Agreement climate goals. And for the mentioned countries, it's a key element um, for clean energy supply, for independence, and meanwhile for security as well. So th there will be a huge demand for green hydrogen, um, which we currently do not have. So it needs to become available and it needs to become cost competitive. And for both, I would like to introduce to you what Bosch as a technology company um, contributes to this. So first, Bosch is a large group, 88 billion euros revenue per year. And for example, in automotive, we are supplier number one worldwide. In Industrial applications we are supporting with our uh, Internet of Things solutions, the industry and the factory of the future. Our consumer goods in many countries are well known, maybe for hobby or for health. And with our AI solutions, we meanwhile make buildings intelligent. Looking on automotive, um, where we provide solutions for autonomous driving, for example, um, and electrification. With this electrification, we support zero emission driving. Fuel cell solutions are available as well. So with our industrialization competence, we enable the vehicle transformation. And we take our responsibility for the environment and the planet very serious. And this is why since already 2020, Bosch as a group is CO2 neutral. Looking on the hydrogen demand, I think there's no doubt that there will be a huge demand. Um, leading Europe has announced to become CO2 neutral by 2050 um, and already taking a huge step forward in 2030 or until 2030. Um, on the other side, in North America, the United States are tackling decarbonization with the largest subsidy program on the world. Uh, and Canada, for example, has committed to supply Europe and especially Germany, where I'm coming from, uh, with green hydrogen from their renewable uh, resources. And we already see a big step forward in the MENA region where the countries are tackling the transformation from uh, fossil fuels, from gas to clean energy supply. Looking on the value chain of hydrogen, Bosch already is well positioned and has a large portfolio. Looking on the right side for cons uh, consumption, as I mentioned, we have the PAM fuel cell solutions to drive trucks. And for the OEMs being in the transformation phase, we provide injection systems for hydrogen engines. For stationary applications, we have our solid oxide fuel cell system, which is for industrial applications and for home applications, we have hydrogen-ready boilers. In between, for the distribution of hydrogen, Bosch Rexroth as a company is supporting um, hydrogen refueling stations with suitable components. And now we are going to the left side for the production of green hydrogen, where we are now introducing our PAM electrolysis stack supplemented by an efficient water purification system and an online gas sensing system, of course, with the ability of online measuring, uh, measuring hydrogen purity. Um, coming from these fuel cells, you can see on the right side, again, our solid oxide fuel cell system at world leading efficiency for stationary applications and our PAM fuel cell for automotive solutions being integrated in the Bosch power module driving trucks like, for example, you may know the trucks of Nikola here in the US. 
with the competence of designing these fuel cells and our general competence of industrialization and mass manufacturing, we are now going to the left side of hydrogen production, introducing our permelectrolysis stack. This stack is the core component of an electrolyzer. This is the unit where renewable electrical power and water are converted into hydrogen and, of course, oxygen. With its 1.25 megawatt nominal power and an output pressure of more than 30 bar, it fits perfectly the requirements of most relevant hydrogen, green hydrogen production applications. The stack then is supplemented by IoT-based services for easy integration. To give you an impression about how the stack and its design looks like, I would like to draw your attention on this amazing animation. Hopefully it works here. Um, yeah. This stack is a solid piece of technology. Um, optimized design, mass manufacturing, the layers, the cells, stacking them to the final unit as the core of an electrolyzer. This is exactly how Bosch will contribute to the green hydrogen economy in the future. And of course, you can see that you can scale it in any integrated solution. And this is exactly is the next step to be done. So the stack itself needs to be integrated in the complete electrolyzer. And you've seen on this conference as well, and you will find on the market several, uh, sorry, two main, mainly two solutions. On the right, uh, left-hand side, for smaller solutions, let's say up to five megawatt, you will find containerized solutions, where some stacks are integrated in a container together with power electronics, water purification, uh, gas after treatment, all the other subsystems. If you're looking for larger applications, you will find plant-like solutions like on the right-hand side. So let's say 10 megawatt upwards which finally means that the subcomponents and subsystems are integrated into uh, a larger plant where usually an EPC uh, takes the task of optimizing all the other balance of plant, so-called balance of plant, as I mentioned, like water purification, power electronics, and so on. So there an optimization for the whole facility is done, but finally you, of course, need the stacks. And here, we, as Bosch, intend, uh, coming from our portfolio, to supplement this offer uh, with suitable components to make the integration easier. And these are control units, these are power electronics, and suitable sensors. Um, as I mentioned, Bosch is focusing on its competences, where we are coming from. This was fuel cell design. And this is mass manufacturing, high quality manufacturing of parts. And this is why we decided to introduce the stack. This, of course, needs to be, as I mentioned, integrated into a system. And to build up an ecosystem for green hydrogen, this, of course, means that cooperation along the value chain is necessary. We, are, as Bosch, are cooperating with partners up and down the value chain. And we are still open for some new to be mentioned. Um, I think um, that this approach of collaboration is suitable for different applications and it's suitable for different regions in the world and needs to be set up for these applications and regions as well. With selected partners, we will deploy and having operated our first prototype by next year as a total electrolyzer system. And as mentioned initially, deploying huge numbers of electrolyzers, huge nominal powers, this requires huge numbers of stacks being available. Bosch will reach gigawatt scale production within this decade. In a second step, we intend to start manufacturing of a smart electrolysis module, um, which comes afterwards and being supplemented, as I mentioned, by some balance of stack as well. Well, and to summarize it all, we, Bosch, coming 
from our competences in fuel cell design and mass manufacturing are now offering at gigawatt scale an electrolysis stack in PAM technology. And this offer makes possible for other players in the market that intend to be part of this green hydrogen ecosystem, makes it easier to do this step, focusing on their competences, introducing our stack in the system, and then acting as an integrator. And we would be happy to discuss with you at our booth directly if you come down the stairs in the exhibition hall about opportunities and possibilities to develop the green hydrogen economy further. Thank you very much. This was my introduction of Bosch. If you have any more questions, I think we still have some minutes, you may ask. Yeah, there's one. Uh, thank you. What is the price difference between the balance of plant versus the stack in terms of cost of yeah. the whole system? Yeah, it, it of course depends on the installation that you have. So uh, looking for smaller installation, the price share between stack and balance of stack or balance of plant is different than it would be for a larger installation, no doubt. No, um, on a percentage basis. Uh, let, let's try a first uh, division or share saying half and half. Starting from what you see in the market today. I think everybody now talks about gigawatt installations, uh, w which we do not see in the market, which do not exist. There, there are announcements, there are plans, and there are no FIDs for these huge, huge installations. So we do not see them in the market, and there is no standard approach. Some kind of standard approach exists for these containerized solutions, for the small solutions. There are some OEMs, like we have Nell here. Um, but finally, um, yeah, there you have a share that will be different if you look for the large installations that finally will be done by an EPC because they have the chance of doing the optimization of the balance of plant and therefore, of course, looking on the cost down and the, our mass manufacturing is one of approach of getting to the cost down can be done there as well in the balance of plant. I have one more question. Is it possible to recuperate the oxygen? Recuperate for? Because you have production of oxygen as well. Yeah. So it, is there a, a way that the oxygen can be captured? Yeah, of course. You, you, it, it, it will be captured. Uh, no, it, it will not finally be captured, but it can be captured because it needs to be cleaned in the first step. Uh, and then you have the opportunity of capturing it. And we know that there are some uh, applications as well making use of the, of the oxygen as well. Yeah. But finally, we are most parts of the market are looking for storing the hydrogen as the, the, the main energy content being available. So the, the oxygen can be released, but it's a matter of security. And um, yeah, or it can be stored. Thank you. You're welcome. If there are no more questions, then thank you very much for your attention. And again, I would be happy to welcome you at our booth at the entrance of the exhibition hall. Thank you very much. Have a good day.